Hello, my name is Alex Salter, 3D artist, and this is going to be the first video of many blogging my progress, uh, creating my next new character. I've just spent the last few hours trying to look for reference, and I feel pretty dead now. <laughs> so, luckily I've found out what to do. The first aim was to do some sort of Balrog. This did not work out. Uh, it was not applicable enough to the assignment which I will be given in like two months. So, so I'm just going to have a drink here. So, um, what I've decided to do is some sort of 3D lady. Maybe water orientated aqua, something like that. This means that later on, after it's been UV'd, and we're texturing the texture will be relatively simple uh, yeah her outfit I still don't know but that's all later on probably something centered around this person maybe what will we do? at the moment because I'm planning ahead for this assignment what we need to consider first is reference This is a tutorial slash blog, what I'm going to do. These videos will be in parts, this is part one, and they may be titled, each will be 15 minutes long, and we could easily go up to 50 episodes, it could go up to 50, you know, 50 videos, it could go past, because this project could take two months, average, I'm thinking, depending on how hard I work. If I talk all the time, like now, in each one, I'll get not much done. So I will be rushing through. Uh, some episodes I will talk, some I won't, some are just pure work. I know when I was much younger and when I first started, I used to just watch every tutorial possible. I knew some tutorials which were 30 parts long, and you just follow them as you go. So I'm fully aware that there's people out there which will benefit from this, and will just watch everything, see how I work, my methodology, see how I create typology, and they will draw from that and that's the key hopefully this will really help them out uh, so yeah this is a basic humanoid this is a female body luckily this will be sim oops <laughs> this will be much simpler than than a Balrog and it should go pretty well it's half full now I'll try and do a few videos and then I'll go home so yeah, first of all, make sure you've got Maya open as well. What I'm going to be doing is screenshotting my progress as well, pulling that into an extra folder so that my written uh, progression document, I can then create one of those pretty easily and uh, hand that in later on. So I will be going into here, control, I'll be uh, control Ving. why isn't it working? That's weird. Print screen. Print screen. Control V. What has it been retarded for? Why is, I get the feeling my keyboard's are dying. Print screen. Oh my god. What? That's retarded. I will have to fix this at some point. Oh. And it, yeah, that's this is irritating. Uh, um, anyway, yeah. So this is this is going to help you all out. First of all, before we get started, <coughs> maybe to remember to set your project up. Save your project out. New project, defaults. New defaults. Save it all out create a new one after that, save that as well, save scene as, place it where you want, I'm going to place it into water, and I think this is the correct place, yeah, and call it, and call her aqua, you might as well, I think that's how you spell it, and that will do, next we need to do is set up the image planes, the image references that we're going to work from, 
but to do this you need to make sure that the resolution of both is accurate so first of all the resolution of this image itself is this we don't want this we want it to be <coughs> something like that now what we want to do is cut these in half for example that will do the head I'm not too much bothered about so we'll use a different reference for that anyway and then for this one we'll about there but I have a feeling this yeah it's not a perfect reference but I'm used to this type so it should do it should do uh, for the basic the basic uh, form anyway then what we want to do is save out two different JPEGs right let's set this to uh, I'm not really bothered it could be I think I should about do we'll see what it's like when we when, it, when we uh, import it anyway save it into wherever you're working I'm gonna save it into the same place just JPEG reference one I'll do Uh, I'll save this one out as well. Reference to oops R two into water. No, simple stuff as normal. Create image planes as you would normally. Two of them. And then obviously use E to scale. <coughs> Stick it further out. Further out this way. This woman should go pretty well. We'll see. We'll see. I won't blog it on a website or anything because I'm just going to blog it all, uh, by video to start with, and then, and then uh, the screenshots is what I can use later on when I need to. Anyway, the next thing you want to do is go into Hypershade, which is this window. You can do it from it. Rendering editors, Hypershade. Middle mouse button drag over to here, so, so it's applied to that one. Quickly apply the reference file. This would all be done about a thousand times quicker than this, but I'm going slow for you. That's obviously the wrong reference, and I'm a retard. Uh, <coughs> water reference one. And this will doing a roundabout and then obviously create a new Lambert in Hypershade again if you have any questions about any of my uh, workflow or anything you want to know just contact me through the, the usual stuff through YouTube and uh, I'll get back to you on it it's all pretty easy though. I mean, I taught everything. I taught myself everything just through the internet and the constructive criticism from people more knowledgeable. But it's all fine in the end, really. You can you can pick it up as you go along. But it does take long. That's the key thing. You need to put a lot of time into the same things. Here we go. Make sure you uh, control save constantly. Now I'm going to fix this print screen problem uh, and then we can get going but this is the default because now you can work on the whole rough in body low poly shape of the woman because this is obviously a woman's body then after this 
and then after you've done the same with the head, getting the rough characteristics in for the, the head as well, and then maybe roughing in the hair, probably using alphas, you will then uh, end up with a basic mould to start working with this then. So you start editing the hair more, you can start to really add stuff and add more features. It's going to be difficult, but it should, it can be done, it can be done, yeah. You just need to break it down. This is how it all starts anyway. It all starts from a lovely cube, like this. I will cover the whole process. If you have any questions of how to do any of this, or you need to want to know how did I make up this box up here, if, or how to do this, go into the cube's properties, go into anything, just message. <coughs> One more vital thing down here, go to uh, create new layer. Is this one? Yeah. Create two new layers actually, for the moment. Then what you need to do is drag select, get rid of that, drag and select both these background layers. They're positioned as we want, I think. So we'll model here as we would here. Only one side, okay, we'll cover that layer on. So I'll model this side. When we turn across, so we do my, so if we model this, we'll do that work. Am I missing something? I can't, I think I am. I have a feeling I modeled this side. There you go. Now it makes sense. Set both these layers, uh, image planes. Right click on layer don't really care which one, layer 1, and go to add selected objects to layer 1. Also rename it if it lets us, and it will. Refs. Save. I'm recording at 20 frames per second, so it shouldn't affect later on, but if it does, I will take it down to 10 frames. doesn't really matter. Now what you do, turn it over to R, can't touch, you can't move it now. So you can now work from it with no interference. Running out of time now nearly, so there you go. We've now set up now the basic foundation to now really start working from. Many artists use 3D, they use their 3D modeling techniques in many different ways, typology wise. When we're looking at all typology for all of this body, for this area, for all the joints, for all the arms, the hands, and especially this area, building up to around here. All this geometry has to flow as well. So I'm going to be investing a lot of time, probably not while well, getting being being recorded, but investing a lot of time into getting, making sure I get the right typology. Uh, and you'll probably see a lot of this later on but we need to make sure this works out it's not a great reference at all but it will definitely do this is it's for my assignment this is passable for now screenshot progression throughout the whole thing when the whole thing is done then uh, uh, I can then create a proper concept. I'm not too sure actually yet. I know this is acceptable to work from, to create your base mesh. Then if I knock up really good Photoshop references, character references, which look like this, with a female base mesh, I should be able to carry on as normal, but I don't really want to use a high advanced background image, but we'll see. Anyway, this is part one done. And uh, thank you for watching. And in the next part, we will uh, get right into it, I guess, and really start to block her in. Thank you for watching.